You're more likely to hurt yourself if you play darts while drunk, but let's be honest, that'll be hilarious. I remember being so excited for the Tone Conference. Being here now, it's like walking through a tomb. Aren't they supposed to be rebuilding? Nothing's been done. Said Albion sniffing around like dogs for a bone. Something's dodgy. Well, when you put it that way, let's get this done, Bagley. What am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. is coming from this spider box fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. I'm amazed this hunk of junk is even operating. What's it doing here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction.
investigating. I can't see the suspect. Perfect. Two more data relays to go. Data relay, and I'll have it. audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and got it go back to where you found that spider bot and i'll show you the ar reconstruction from the night of the explosion got it CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back for you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Dirty mobsters did the bombings. I think Kelly's with the supplier. And that makes this a handoff. What are the odds that this is a member of Zero Day? They certainly aren't with the Kellys. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you identify who was operating the Spider-Bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Fuck me. The guard was watching all this. Construction continues behind that rubble. Great. Bags, fire up the quantum duffer. Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider box and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Solid idea. Why don't you aim those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo? Got it. RDX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. It's Zero Day's signature. There, hurry. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Shut it. We're all on need to know. My goodness, Zero Day must have pulled some strings to get multiple groups to commit the bombings. 
That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Seems like the police were on the trail of the real bombers, but wanted to keep it hush-hush and let DedSec hang for it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Looks like Albion has conquered the police station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. If there's one thing that should never be privatized, it's the police force. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the spider bot will be further in. No sign yet. Civilians are not permitted to enter restricted Albion areas. <laughs> Trust 
Trespasser may have fled. They're long gone. Tag local cameras, maybe they're on CTOS. I heard something over there. Have we found our spider bot, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Question is, who last used the thing? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Of course. Easy peasy. <laughs> known position. Finding new cover! Uh. Uh. Go 
system from Parliament. If the Met or Albion rather actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. You look at all this junk. You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening.
almost there. Make your way through this last bent path. Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce, unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. All right. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. The scavenger hunt continues. Let's get a move on. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. The GPS history of the Spiderbot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. How secretive. The kind of place forbidden lovers would meet for a quick, um, shag. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. All we need is a way in. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Oh my goodness, look at all of this. Looks like the police were hiding out in here. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. What were they working on that led them to the tone bombing? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's coup. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. Stop, 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 stop. 
So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. There we have it. Albion working with Clan Kelly. It's like the bubonic plague working with smallpox. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavoury bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. Well, see, it's clear we have to do something about all those people taken right off the streets. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. <laughs>